All right, what's going on you guys? No uh, cool intro for this video. Uh, I really just want to dive on into this and not waste too much of y'all's time because I'm I'm very, very frustrated. Uh, first of all, I'm sorry about the lack of uploads. I've been dealing with this stuff for the past couple days. Can't cuss within the first minute. <laughs> um, and also I was celebrating my grandfather's birthday, so I'm sorry about the lack of uploads. And if you're here for Yu-Gi-Oh! content, don't worry. We're gonna be getting back to that tomorrow, but I gotta get this story off my chest because I'm really livid right now. So it doesn't help that I got a charge for like $440 into Bitcoin, potentially, unless it's a scam, just to go into PayPal to see that someone has opened up a PayPal account in, I guess, France, because everything's in French. They have my name, my email, um, they didn't have my social security number, luckily. Um, they didn't have a payment method, but somehow they opened up an account my name. Anyway, we closed that. That's good. What started all this, though, and what made me go into this PayPal rabbit hole thinking that something was wrong with my stuff was because I had a charge on my credit card for $26.88. Now, I thought it said GameStore.com. It actually said GameStop.com, and let me explain. When you get a charge from your credit card, as I'm sure you all well know, good and well, um, it will have the merchant's name, right? So you go to Amazon, say Amazon.com. The thing is with GameStops, and I mean, my eyes aren't that bad, but when you look at it, it looks like it says Game Store because the period is like almost right underneath the P in GameStop. So it looks like it says GameStore.com. So anyway, that confused me. I can't dispute the charge because it's still pending. I called my bank. I'm disputing it that way and getting a, a refund, whatever. But it was actually from GameStop, come to find out, when I called this morning. For $26.88. It says store number 480. Well, simply says GameStop.com number or hashtag pound, whatever, 480. Something, okay, that must be the store number. So I call my local GameStop. And the guy says, uh, I don't have a way to look up store numbers, but if it's for that $26.88, that might be for the auto renewal for your pro membership. Okay. I have said, okay, we're at two minutes. <laughs> I have said multiple fucking times to this local GameStop, hey, I don't want to renew my membership. I did it for a time because I think it was like $15 a couple years ago or something. And I guess they've raised the prices now because it's $26.88. And <laughs> it's cheaper than Xbox Ultimate, even with the $3 upcharge that now Xbox is doing. Game Pass Ultimate's still only like $20 fucking dollars. Anyway, besides the point, I had done it for a time and like was getting the coupons every month, whatever. Anyway, I had said, I don't want to renew it. I don't want to renew it. Every time I went the fuck in, do you want to renew it? No. Do you want to check your butthole, see if you want to renew it? No. Just let me have the fucking game. And I could tell they get pissed because I, I go into that store all the time. Anyway, I'm not going to be going to that store anymore after this. But... I get the charge for $26.88. The guy says, that's probably the auto renewal for your pro account. And I'm like, well, I've already told them I don't want it. So I go into GameStop.com. I look at my account, right? There is no charge for $26.88 in like my account info, my order info. The last order that I'm seeing on my GameStop.com account is from 2022 for a fucking Steam card for $20. That's it. That's all I'm seeing. If it was for the pro membership, don't you think that it would show up in your order info or like your previous orders? Hey, $26.88 for your subscription. I'm like, you know what? Let me see if I have access. Let's just see what's there. I go into the pro membership tab on my account and it says unlock GameStop Pro. Now, maybe that's something entirely different from the pro membership. I don't know how that could be different. You have the pro membership, but then you have the GameStop Pro membership. Either way... I don't have access. It literally says unlock GameStop Pro. And then there's like a click to order button. And then it's like $65 in rewards, blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, oh, I'm getting charged. I don't even have access. Oh my God. So now I'm already pissed from this fucking PayPal thing. And getting all that resolved, calling PayPal, make sure my account's closed. Everything was in French. Had to auto translate. That's a whole thing in of itself. So I'm going into this heated. <clears throat> the guy told me on the phone, call customer care. I'm like, okay, call customer care. Guess how long I'm on hold for before I finally said I'm over it. And I'm a very impatient person. So for this long is impressive. 20 minutes. Over 20 minutes before I finally said, fuck it, send in an email. Who cares? Explain the whole thing. I don't want this on my account. Blah, 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 blah. I don't even have access to the account. So then... 
as I'm filling this out, I get a text back from a friend of mine. Now, I have nothing against this friend of mine. They are doing their job at GameStop. They're going based off of what the people at GameStop, the corporate and the managers are telling them to do. This is nothing against the GameStop employees. They are going based off of what the big wigs are telling them from a dying company. My friend tells me, yeah, no one reads those license agreements where they tell you that there's an auto renewal in there. You have to go in there and take it off yourself, even though I can't because my account doesn't say I have the pro membership, so I can't even turn the auto renewal off. And the friend of mine says, almost gave away if it was a boy or a girl. Um, my friend says to me, I give them one year renewal by default because nobody reads. The fuck? <laughs> so you mean to tell me that people are getting this auto renewal and you're not telling them. Now again, this friend is doing what the management and upper big wigs at GameStop are telling them to do. They don't have a say in the matter. If you're working a job, you know, a nine to five at, I don't know, rooms to go or whatever, a local furniture store, and they tell you, listen, you have to sign people up for this and you can't do anything about it. It's kind of like how back in the day, uh, what was it, Radio Shack or whatever one of those companies were, and they were begging you, they were pleading you, getting on their hands and knees, ready to do some some fresh things for you, if you catch my drift, to get on their like credit card thing, right? So I don't blame them. But it's the fact that this isn't a license agreement. The employees are being forced to put them up for a one-year auto renewal because fucking reasons. Because now they want to go into the PSA market and probably charge you a PSA Pro membership. You can get 5% off of, I don't know, a card that's $20 or less. I've got a PSA 10. Oh, hey, I'll buy that PSA 10 for $5 and turn around and sell it for $50,000. And uh, you can maybe get, you know, if you want to do credit, it's like $7.50, Sugar Boo Bear. I am absolutely livid in my message. I made it clear that, hey, I am already disputing this with my bank. My bank is going to give me a basically a charge back so that I get the money back and then they'll dispute it with uh, GameStop. But the fact that I don't even have access to the pro membership stuff and it doesn't show up in my account under like the orders... I think anybody with five brain cells to mash them together would think, hey, I think my card's compromised. Especially whenever you look at it and it looks like it says gamestore.com because the period is like right underneath the P. That was that was really annoying in of itself. So I used to shop at GameStop for physical media because my impatient white fat ass didn't want to have to get it from Amazon or Walmart online and then wait for it to come in like a day or two after the game actually came out. I don't care. I'm done. I was like the last of the fucking Mohicans in my neighborhood that shopped at GameStop. I'm done. I'm so done. Especially, uh, that that's the other thing too. You would think, oh, Avery, they're probably using your credit card because you got a payment method saved, right? You would think that, wouldn't you? No. My payment method is not saved at all on my account. And there's no other account that exists. So, I don't know. I guess they just threw a dart at the wall and said, ah, power to this player. We shall take their credit card info and charge them $26.88 because inflation is not huge at all and this Momo isn't trying to save money. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm not shopping at GameStop no more. You can kiss my fat white ass all the way to the moon and back. I'm done. I've called him out on this. I already made a YouTube short about it. I need to go put this video in the description of that. And uh, let's see if this blows up. Maybe it only gets 50 views. Maybe it gets a million views and everybody picks it up and they're like, hey guys, take don't don't be shopping at no GameStop. They ask you for that power up awards. You say, no, absolutely not. Uh, even if you say, hey, I want to cancel it, they're still going to put you on that one year auto renewal. And that's some baby back bullshit. Oh, but they want to get into the PSA market and Bitcoin and everything else. It, give me a break. They try to do NFTs and NFTs don't even have any inherent value because you just go copy, save image as... I'm ranting at this point. Guys, uh, hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your credit card because they're taking everybody's info out here.